Hi guys, today I'm going to do a virtual walk around our fresh in stock Jaguar XE. This is the 2 litre R Sport Edition and it's fit, finished in this Italian racing red. Really gorgeous red colour. Sorry about the weather but you can tell, lovely paint. Going down to the alloys, 17 inch multi spoke alloys finished in silver, and a nice red Jaguar uh, centre casings, so it looks really great. Going on to the front, you've got your Jaguars in on headlights with your daytime running lights on there, really great and clear lights. Because it's the R Sport, you've got the nice R Sport bumper, looking really good, and nice black trim on the outside of the grills. On the side, you've got the nice black side vents with your R Sport badging in the middle as well, and your Jaguar engraving. You've got matching club wing mirrors to the body colour with your indicators on there and black housing. A nice black trim going on the outside of the windows, black B pillars and rear privacy glass, and going with the red looks lovely. You've also got a little lip spoiler on the boot, giving that extra R Sport. And then you've got the nice R Sport rear bumper with your black contrasting bumper at the bottom as well. We want to open up the boot. One second. There you go. Lovely boot space, absolutely great. Fit tons in there, really nice and clean as well. So that's really good. If we go on to the interior of the car. But you're absolutely gorgeous, full leather seats with white contrast stitching, really spacious and nice, really good. You've got your rear fans for climate control, which can be just in the back. You've got a nice 12 volt down there as well for charging or whatever. If we get into the front seat, you've got the same style seats, but you've got electric lumbar support as well, so you can adjust that, which is really nice and great. If we get into the car, it's a wireless key entry, so stop start button. Press your foot on the clutch, press the button, the car will turn on. You've got the nice half sport steering wheel, full leather, really comfy and nice. You've got controls on either side, so on this side, you've got your digital display dash, which you can change your different settings. You've got your hands free and their voice command there as well. On this side, you've got your cruise control and limiter. If we go down, you've got your fully electric automatic windows and the ability to lock the rear windows. Then you've got your wing mirrors as well, electric wing mirrors, which is great. Down here, you've got your boot button and then your lane assist buttons. If we go to the media display, to your home screen, you've got your nice new style home screen, which is really nice, it's touch screen, really cool. If you go on to your radio settings, and go on to source, you've got DAB, FM and AM and AUX and the ability to connect your phone through Bluetooth as well and USB. You've got your climate control settings on there as well, so you can choose where the air comes out of and your heated seats which is really great on either side. You also have uh, hands-free to connect your phone to talk through the car, which is great. If we go down, you've got your digital display for your dual zone climate control, all your different settings on there as well, uh, air conditioning. You can also press that if you want to get your heated seat buttons up as well, which is great. If we go down, you've got your different modes to put the car in, so you can put it in race mode to be more responsive, uh, normal mode if you're just for normal driving, eco mode and then wet mode in the winter mode, which is great. Then you've got your traction control and automatic stop start button as well. You've got an electric handbrake, which is great, which automatically detaches when you put the car in gear and try and set off. Then you've got your two drinks holders as well. If we open up the centre console, you've got your navigation port. For you. If you want to get a navigation system, you can just order them online really cheap and easy. Just plug it in there. Um, and then you've also got your aux port and your 12 volt as well. So if you have any more questions about this car, please feel free to contact our sales team. Potentially, this could be your next new car.